We've spent the past year traveling around the country in our Alliance Avenue fifth wheel, and although we loved it so much, this year we really needed something that was gonna work for full-time RVing. A few weeks ago, we put out a video uh, touring our Alliance Avenue fifth wheel that was for sale, and we dropped some hints in that video about what we might be buying next. So I'm curious how many of you guessed right, but now I'm gonna reveal, we got the 2023 Alliance Paradigm 382RK. So I know some people were guessing that, some people were guessing other Paradigm floor plans. I heard Brinkley, I heard Motorhomes, but yeah, we are very excited that we are now proud new owners of this Paradigm fifth wheel. And in this video, we're gonna give you a full tour inside and outside of this fifth wheel, kind of talk about why we ended up buying it. But before we jump on the inside, I do wanna remind you guys, if you haven't heard, Will and I now have our own email newsletter where we send out weekly updates and it's a more real time update about what's going on way before it comes out on YouTube. So actually our new email newsletter newsletter subscribers were the first to know what fifth wheel we got so if you guys haven't joined that yet uh, you can scan the QR code here I'll also put a link down in the description make sure you go and sign up for that will is writing them every week he does a great job it's just like a little peek into what's going on real time in our life so make sure you guys go and subscribe to that but now we're gonna jump and go do the inside tour of this new fifth wheel so like I said, we got the 382 RK floor plan, which is a fairly new floor plan for the Alliance Paradigm. I think it came out like last spring. Yeah, we around at, the rally, I yeah, think. Yeah, when we were at the Alliance rally last year, we actually looked in it and I told Wells, like this might be my perfect fifth wheel. We loved it the first time we saw it and uh, we're still like super excited about it. I'll start here. So when you first come in, it's kind of like a mid living room. It has, so it has three couches and I really wanted that because we had two couches in our avenue and sometimes when we had people over, I felt like the lack of seating space a little bit, especially because Tucker here likes to take a seat of his own. So when we have guests, I really wanted space for everybody to be able to sit down and be comfortable. And so I'm really excited that we did three, that we have three couches in here. So over here, this one is a trifold couch. So it's a little bit smaller than the trifold we had in the Avenue, just cause it's in like the slide box here. Um, but it's still enough for like, like Matt's already stayed on this once before. And I like how the trifold is over here because when you put it out, you don't lose like your walkway space. Over here, we have a theater seat. So perfect right across from the TV to recline. And then over here, so normally this is a trifold also. The, this was the only thing we special requested on this, I believe, that uh, Alliance usually doesn't do, is we swapped out the trifold for theater seats. Now, I don't think that's something that they'll normally do just because they're like, it's a very like strict process. And speaking of their build process on these, we actually went up to the Alliance factory and filmed the entire build of this from start to finish. So I believe that will be the next video that comes out and that was like really cool so we actually got to see this start from like chassis all the way to this finished rv but that was the one thing that they did differently and just because we really didn't need two trifold sleeper sofas so i'd rather have more like recliner space and then finishing up in the living room we have our entertainment area with your tv fireplace i always love the fireplaces just to get because obviously we're so we're in florida so you don't want to have it on but i like just having the ambiance and then you have the radio system and then some storage up here which one thing I'll say that we're like dealing with is whenever you move to a new RV, the storage is totally different than the last one. And you have to learn how to fit all of your stuff into like these, you know, new storage spaces. So we're still kind of figuring that out and also trying to like declutter a little bit at the same time. But I kind of use this to put like our board games, our PlayStations here, stuff like that. So not, it's not super deep storage, but you know, it's enough to like fit some games and stuff in. And you also have some storage here above the trifold sofa. One thing I will say is I wish that they had struts on these. So I actually might see if we can add that in. I don't know if it's possible to add after yeah, the Yeah, for sure. But yeah, just because it's like, if you're trying to load stuff in, it doesn't stand up on its own. Tons of windows in here. So lots of natural light. Coming over into the dining room area. So you have your kind of standard dinette, two chairs. Now we do have two more chairs that are under the bed. I'm thinking we're gonna probably get rid of those just because we're really gonna need it. And to try, to try to fit like four people in here is kind of unrealistic. So now we do have some ideas for like minor renovations. Now I don't even want to call them renovations because I'm like scarred from RV renovations, but just like minor changes. We might, we were thinking about maybe like flipping this so it's more of like a bar style. So make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already because we'll probably have a video coming out just showing some of those little changes that we make. 
right, so I'm gonna show you guys around the kitchen and the kitchen is definitely like another area where it's like in pictures and everything, it looks so good, but trying to fit all your dishes and your appliances and storage and everything into a different area has been a little bit of a challenge for us. Nice shelving right here. And then these cabinets are all really nice and it's really like nice, big, deep storage and all of them all the way across. And as you can see, we haven't even filled it up all the way. And then this, like you can see, goes all the way back. And I think that's been like one of the only challenges is like the avenue was very sectioned, right? Where these, there was probably the same amount of storage, but it's like really big and open and wide. So stuff like moves around a little bit more. Microwave right here. We're definitely gonna have to buy like more like things to organize the large storage yeah, areas. Yeah. yeah. Over here, nice faucet and a huge single bowl sink, which we love that. Storage underneath. And again, same thing with this, it goes all the way down. Yeah, all the way to that back corner yep. there. Beautiful solid surface countertops and backsplash. I really like that. And again, we haven't got everything together. We'll probably do like a uh, paper towel holder somewhere. I actually already somewhere. ordered it. Did you? Oh, okay. Way. <laughs> drawers here. And all these drawers are reinforced, which is really nice because as, as you put heavier stuff in, and I'll show you where we have some heavier stuff and another one, um, it does make a big difference. The waffle maker. Waffles. Oh, and this is like one of the big, you know, upgrades. And I'm so, I'm so excited for this. We're doing a lot more cooking now. We haven't always been good about it, but we enjoy cooking more at home. And um, so having the four burner insignia residential style stove and oven is really, really nice for us. And nice big oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. <laughs> Oh, also guys, so on Tuesday, um, we're gonna be doing a full review of this on Matt's Review Reviews Towable. So yep. make sure you guys go check out that video because we'll, we'll be doing like the three likes and dislikes right. and everything. Storage right there. There knobs, got our Instant Pot. Yep, Instant Pot. And this is where like most of our cooking and prepping happens is right here. We had a little issue with this blind, so it's not going up all the way. But I really like this back window because when you are cooking, you have a good view or whatever or just to let in some natural light yeah um over here we have our coffee set up and fork and knife they did start doing this little trash chute truthfully we don't use it I, i've never liked the idea of a trash chute because i just like a like i like our very closed yeah. trash can I, I don't want to go around that side honestly to take the trash right. out so well and if you look at it like you can put a trash can in there but then i could totally see like you taking like the raw chicken packaging and putting it down there and then it not falling out. Yeah, not yeah. getting in. So I actually put a little bit of double-sided tape on this because during transport it does, like this will bounce up. Yeah. And we just probably won't use that. Or we'll use, like you can still use the outside of storage. Yeah, we'll probably so. use that for the power cord or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Got drawers here. These are really big drawers. These are too. very big drawers. And again, this is where it's more important that they're reinforced because um, all like of all of our spices, this one's already getting a little heavier, but this is a really heavy one because we got our pots and pans in here. Yeah. So it's really nice having that reinforcement and you can remove two, I believe it takes the two bottom drawers out and put a dishwasher yeah. in, which we talked about doing, but then when we realized once we kind of got in and started setting stuff in place, we were like, you know, we'd rather have the storage. Yeah. Um, I think I forgot this. And I don't mind just like washing dishes. Right, go, it's really right? not that, that big of a deal. Like our paper towel storage. Mm -hmm. That is the stuff that chunks. Jen can't get to. <laughs> <laughs> storage here. And then I love this newer cold 12 volt uh, refrigerator here. It just cools so well, so much better than the old um, two way refrigerator is dead. We had this in the um, avenue as well and loved it. And speaking of 12 volt, uh, we actually have a pretty good boondocking setup on this. So make sure you guys stick around for the outside tour because Will will kind of explain everything that we got yep, on this for boondocking. Exactly. Here's your freezer there. Yep, these are drawer. drawers. Huge pantry here. Um, what I'll say about this pantry is there's tons of storage and it's deep. And at first I was like, I don't, I'm not gonna like that. But so far it's not been bad because like, you know, you can still, it's not so deep that you can't get to the back. What's your thoughts on that now? And yeah, you just... it hasn't been terrible. I will say like, the more you can like organize yourself, get shelves or like these bins, 
house. Um, just make it, cause it's like, if I need to get back there, I can take this whole bin out right. to help, you know, get back there. So the more you can, like, I think when you have big open storage in an RV, is when you have to get more shelving and, yeah. and bins and stuff to organize everything. So that's pretty much the kitchen. And, and to be honest, we like this area, right? It, it works good. This isn't why we bought it. It's the front half of the fifth yes. wheel. That's what we love the most. Let's go check it out. Okay, something that is totally new to us um, compared to when we had the avenue is now we actually have a half bath. So right when you come in the main door, there's the toilet and sink in here, but this is really nice for just when we have guests, honestly, like when people are just in and out of the RV, but also if Matt's staying with us or Kati's staying with us, it's just nice because a lot of times they don't, they don't need to get to the bathroom and shower necessarily, but they need to brush their teeth um, and just use it. And they don't, you don't have to worry about them like trekking through the bedroom to use our bathroom. Um, so this is like a nice space and it gives us a little bit more storage too. We have tons of liquefied in here. So make sure you get some liquefied if you haven't already. And oh, also we have the um, prototype for the new uh, liquefied lavender scent, which I actually really like. So yeah, but this is a nice space and it's, it's plenty of room for them to just like get ready for bed and go to the bathroom and stuff. Um, also when you first come in, you have kind of like a coat junk closet area. Here is where we have like the, um, Breakers. like the breaker panel, right? Yep. Now it has also something we learned is it has two, it has a breaker panel for your shore power and for, and another one for your solar, right? And another one for your generator. And another one for your generator. So you can kind of control that separately. Um, there is some storage up there, not super easy to access. So definitely for stuff you don't need that often. Here's where you have all of your controls. This is actually exactly the same as how it looked in the Avenue with the controls and everything. Uh, I always like that Alliance does the manual buttons because I hate the stupid touch screens that are like you have to hit so hard. Right. And then here is, it's meant to be more of like hanging coat closet. We don't really have a need for that. So right now this is like the Tucker's dog basket of stuff. And, but I think what I'm going to do is actually put in here, um, some stacking clear bins where you can like actually pull them out. And then on top we can, when we have like papers and stuff from the, you know, guys know what I'm saying? Like every time you check into a campground, you get all this paperwork and stuff. And it's kind of nice just to have like a catch all spot for stuff. Right. I also might put some, um, hooks for keys. And I also got, I already got some stuff to organize this. So I got these cute little things that you can mount and then any like rags or anything, you just stick them in there and then they stay on the door. That's cool. So yeah, let me know if you guys are interested in like an RV organization video. Cause I've been getting a lot more stuff, especially as our needs have changed in this new RV. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. And then on this wall, it's where we have our generator turn on. This is our energy like management system and teletronics. <laughs> um, and then this is our inverter where we can just monitor. I don't know a lot about this stuff to be honest with all. Maybe <laughs> <you know. laughs> <laughs> Basically, the big thing with that is to monitor how many, how much battery we have left. Yes. As you can see, we're hooked up to shore power right now. You probably can't see on the camera, but we have 300 amp hours. Yeah, that's where all of that is. And then over on the side, so we have three ACs in this. We have one in the kitchen, one in the living room, one in the bedroom. So this is where your AC and heat controls are for your two out in the living area. And then this is just your light switch for your main lights out there. Okay, coming up into the bedroom, we have a pocket door, kind of similar to what we had before. We had a barn door before. I actually like the pocket door because coming in here, you have like an open wall. We actually might be able to yeah. put something on the wall, like picture artwork. But this bedroom is super nice. One thing that makes this bedroom bigger than what you typically get in a fifth wheel is that it's double opposing slides. So you, right. you have your slide here on your bed headboard, but you also have a slide on this side and it's like not super deep at all but it's just like that little bit of extra space mm -hmm. that makes like look at how much space i have at the foot of the bed you know a lot more space to get dressed it used to be tighter in the avenue at the foot of the bed and just getting that extra like foot and a half really makes a difference in here also just because the fifth wheel is longer the bedroom's a little bit bigger this way so we have our dresser here but we also have a bench um, where we can sit and put our shoes on and stuff Honestly, Tucker could even lay here if he wanted to. And then I like that it has storage underneath. This dresser is really cute. I like the colors of it. And it comes with a TV in the bedroom, so it's not even an option. It comes with the TV, which is great. You also get hidden storage. So I don't, we don't have a lot in here now, but I always like that feature. And uh, these drawers are pretty similar to what we had before. So we've gotten, I've gotten really good at 
folding a certain way to maximize uh as you can see as i think someone said something in the avenue or a couple people at asked show. Yeah, yeah at the show and at the rally just asking about how i fold the clothes so maybe if i do an rv organization video i can show that because i've learned how to fold them a certain way to really like maximize your drawer space and also make it easier to like go through your clothes over here on the bed three windows so lots of light, natural light. We actually keep those closed most of the time because like you're getting changed in your bedroom and stuff. And then I also really like over there, you have storage for a CPAP machine. So there is an outlet in there. Uh, we don't have a, a CPAP machine, so it's kind of like open storage, but we do have our internet kind of set up in there. So it's out of the way. And then underneath the bed here, tons of storage. So that's the two extra chairs. I think we're gonna be getting rid of those, like I said, and then we'll have a little bit more space for stuff underneath here. But we have a pack jam tight right now. Right. And then you have two nightstands next to the bed with power and USB. The most exciting part about this fifth wheel is in the very front. And this, like Will said, this is really why we bought this. Right. So this is our big master bath. I never thought I'd get a master bath in a fifth wheel. I know. This is like bathrooms we've had in our house before. Coming in here, it's tons of, of space, tons of room. I mean, I could, I could do a full 360. <laughs> big vanity over here with a big sink. If you guys have watched the channel, you know one of my gripes is always that RV manufacturers right. put small sinks in bathrooms, which I hate. And a lot of times it's like you can't even wash your face. In the avenue, the, the in the avenue, the vanity is smaller, so the sink has to be smaller. Right. And like you can brush your teeth and stuff, but when you you know when you wash your face, like it's running There's down water your arm. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So I always had to go up to the kitchen sink. Well now I don't have to. Um, nice big sink. And one thing I like is other manufacturers that make this kind of floor plan, a lot of times they'll still do two small sinks in here. I know. And truthfully, Will and I are never at the sink at the same time. So I'd much rather just have one big sink so you don't you can wash your face and stuff. And also, uh, I think a lot of people requested that with Alliance because then you have a lot of countertop space. So if you're the type that likes to have like a lot of your, you know, toiletry products sitting on the counter, there's plenty of room to do that. It was taking forever in the morning. Because in our last one, if Will was sitting on the toilet, I couldn't go in the bathroom. Right. So if he was like sitting on the toilet in the morning doing his Facebook scroll, like I couldn't even use the sink or anything. So now it's like he could be going to the bathroom, I could be showering, like we're both using the bathroom space at the same time. You have a medicine cabinet here. You have two lights here and then two windows. Again, we, I usually keep, you know, w windows and bathrooms, you know, it's kind of like, why would you have the window open? I guess right. we're open and docking in the middle of nowhere. Also two, an outlet on each side. That's really which nice. Which is nice, you know, if you are using like your, you know, curling iron and stuff, there's plenty of places to plug it in. And then under here, a lot of storage. I love having these drawers and stuff to organize. So this is Will's. I told Will this was his side because under here, that's just like access to some of your right. plumbing and electrical. Underneath the sink, tons of storage that goes back. Hello, Taco Bell. Hello, Taco Bell. And then you also have drawers on this side, but you actually get three on this side. So I love that. And as you can see, this is actually that slide I was telling you about in the bedroom. This this is the same slide. So right. it's like this whole wall from here to the bedroom that goes out. And we also have a whole big storage area here. So this is tons of space. And honestly, I really need to go through and, and get rid of some of the stuff in here, but we just kind of moved everything over quickly. Over here, uh, you have your toilet down here. One, I guess dislike I would say is I don't like how there's not really room to have a toilet paper holder because right. if you mounted it here, like you couldn't reach it. And I think Will would hit it with his back when he sat back. So I kind of wish that they made this doorway a little bit smaller. So you had room because it's a really big doorway. It it's is, kind of yeah. like no reason for it to be that big. I wish that they extended it and then you could put the toilet paper holder there. I ended up buying this thing, which is like a freestanding one. So we kind of like pull it out when we're going to the bathroom and then we tuck it back in when we're done. But it's nice because you can put extra toilet paper and flushable wipes, which I don't think you should flush down yeah. the toilet, but still like if you wanted wipes. Something new that we get in this one is huge encore shower, quite a bit bigger than the shower. Now the shower we had in the Avenue, I was actually like pretty happy with, yeah. especially for it being like a mid pro fifth wheel. But I love that this feels like a residential shower. So you get like- So nice and yeah, big, honestly. So nice, like plenty of room to stand. Um, you get this little cedar bench that folds down. 
So if you need to sit on it, or honestly just having a place like if you're shaving your legs, put yeah. your leg up on, and then when you don't need it, it's out of the way. You get a little like storage cubby up there for some of your products. And they were really smart about what they, what little cubby they got because it has little things where you can hook, you know, your back scrubber, like where you can right, hang things, right. you know? Now I did get these suction cup hooks that are super strong suction. So I put these on the outside for our towels and it came with two more. So I just put them in the shower for more, more for place to hang things. And then I also got a little more hook needs. <laughs> And we also got a little squeaky. So I love the shower. I've I really too. enjoyed it so far. And then wrapping up on the inside, we have a huge, huge walk-in closet. So I like you get the two mirrors on the front too. Right. So this one closes with with um being this locked into place. Latch. Yeah. yeah. So you just if you want to open them both, you just undo that. And look how big this closet is well. Right. This is a huge closet. We definitely have more hanging storage than we used to, I think. And then behind all the hanging storage, behind all the hanging storage, there's all these cubbies where you can put stuff. So it's like three sections of cubbies. So you go in the middle too. Place to put shoes and everything, which I like. Just tons of space. You have a cubby up here. One thing I, I want to tell Alliance to do is any any space like this like they always just need to have like a little, little lip a little yeah. lip so that it's things don't slide off when you're going down the road but the nice thing is all these cubbies have a lip so you don't have to worry about that this is where we have our laundry hamper okay and then they also actually have a built-in laundry hamper we're just kind of using that for like towels and stuff and then i think like the grand star of of this new fifth wheel is we have a stackable washer and dryer yeah and i don't our, think you've let this thing rest since we bought it <laughs> i really haven't like i've been doing just the fact that i can do laundry whenever i want i'm like i'm doing i'm just like i don't even need to, to wash stuff but i'm just like running them all the time yeah so we didn't have a washer dryer in our avenue we actually could have added it it was prepped to do like a washer on one side of the closet and a dryer on the other side but honestly, it was just like, it would have taken up so much closet space. It wasn't worth it to us. But you know, just, I've never been a fan of laundromats. I just like hate lugging my stuff to the, the laundromat. You don't know what stuff people have had in the washer and dryer. So it's always kind of like grossed me out. So I love that we have our own washer and dryer and it makes it super easy because you're not having like a huge laundry day right. where you have to fold them out in the clothes. Like you could just do a small load every day when you're in the RV. So this is the Splendid, so this is the washer, this is the dryer, and we've just loved it so far, honestly. That's probably my favorite thing in this RV right. is the washer dryer. So that kind of wraps up the inside, and um, now we're gonna jump on the outside and Will's gonna show you some of the features we have on the exterior. All right, we're back on the outside. I'm gonna do the walk around with you guys um, with all the outside features, showing you everything that it has. But before I do, we told you guys we'd also let you know which truck we got to pull this beast with. You can probably see right there, we got a 2021 GMC Sierra 3500, and we did go dually. So that was a big debate Jen and I kept going back and forth on. And both of us, we were just so unsure, like, do we really need a dually? And like you walk around the campground and there's so many people who are truthfully probably overweight and you're like, but they're doing it with a single rear wheel. Um, we knew we needed a 3500, but when I just really dove into the numbers, I was like, all right, we're gonna need the dually. And truthfully, we are so glad that we did. It drives so good. So before we hit a 2015 GMC Sierra 2500, this actually drives better than that in my opinion. Don't you yeah, think, Yeah, I Jen? feel like the turning radius is better. Yeah. And like, I just want to say on record right now, anyone that feels overwhelmed by buying a dually, I would, you know, obviously you have to consider price and everything, yeah. but from a safety standpoint and a stability, it is so worth it. it is. And it's really not that bad driving it. No. Especially when you're pulling the fifth wheel, guys, you got to think like you're already dealing with the width of the fifth wheel. You're not sticking out anymore with the truck. You're not. And yeah. we've been, we haven't really had much, that much problem, like getting in drive. A lot of newer no. drive throughs you're fine. So like, I, think I really want to demystify dualies because right. it's really not that bad. Right. There's only maybe been one drive through we couldn't get through. And even yeah. that and one, you I think. Go, you just walk in. Yeah. yeah we just walk in it fits in a parking spot you just have to take your time and be a little more careful yeah and you know, if you, if you have a, a bigger fifth wheel like this you know i would highly recommend the dually yeah and if you blow a rear tire the nice thing is is that you do have another one back there right next yeah. to it to help get you off the road that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. aspects from a safety standpoint so and we're not gonna really dive into like a detailed tour of yeah. the truck but we will be having a video out in a, like a week or two yeah. actually showing our whole towing setup with 
the fifth wheel hitch and some other yep. uh, things we have and that will be going a lot more into the truck in that video exactly. so just make sure you guys stick, you know stay tuned for that yeah. one so we'll start up front we have a nice painted fiberglass front cap with the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. They're still using that. And um, I will give you guys a little sneak peek. We did do, we stuck with the Kurt fifth wheel hitch as well. Cause we really liked that. Underneath here is one of my favorite. We have a generator. Yay! So this was something that truthfully, I think was like first on our list. Like we want a generator. Yeah. It's just so nice. We want to be able to do a little more boondocking. We're not like big do boondocking people. You know, we want to do, be able to do a couple nights here and there and be able to run the AC and whatnot. Honestly, even just for like when we're doing back-to-back -back drive days, we're just yes. the type, I'd rather just drive, have a long day of driving, pull into a Walmart parking lot yeah. or a Cracker, Cracker Barrel, Barrel yeah. which we have done the Cracker Barrel. And then we did do the upgraded solar package, which you can see there has three 100 amp hour batteries. And there's your there's our hydraulic fluid because we do have hydraulic leveling now yes as jen said it is hydraulic auto leveling and it's six point now yeah it's so much more sturdy now uh, we had four point in the avenue yeah having six point now i'm like on mid pros and full pros this it should, should be, be standard. like it, you know it could be six point electric level yeah. on mid pros but like the stability you get from like the extra two jacks i would like to compare it. that one time like six point electric versus six point hydraulic yeah you know how big is the difference yeah so here we have propane tank and you can upgrade them to 40 pound tanks it's so funny because this looks small in here but yeah you can upgrade it so and what's I probably, that a 20 pound tank? this is a 30 pound. a 30 pound tank okay yep and we probably will upgrade them because the generator works off of propane so yeah. when you're using the generator you do burn through propane quick. yeah here is the storage and i think this was very nice and organized but we did a bunch <laughs> of crap in here to get ready for this video yeah there is so much storage under here now so to show you guys so our avenue was almost like from here over. Yeah. So we could usually, we could fit like totes like in a, a line. Now we could actually, these these black and yellow totes, which you can get at like Home Depot, we can actually fit like them next to each other and then fit another one over there. And you could, honestly, it's tall enough you could stack some too. Um, so we have tons of storage. Right here, you do have speakers on the outside and then you have two power awnings, which yeah. have been great. And then, and so even that, this is that slide in the bedroom and bathroom. Yeah. And as you can see, it doesn't come out far. So like, even when you have your awnings out, it's not impeding from it's your not. camping space. Yeah. Outdoor shower here. So wash Tucker's paws off. Wash his paws. We're like the guy, the tech at general said, like you can spray these steps down yeah. if they get really yeah. uh, dirty before. It's a cool feature. Putting them in. It is. Yeah. You have a door here. I like the safety rail a lot. <laughs> What do you think? You like this better? I like than that. The... I think, is it Matt that doesn't like it? Or were you not I, liking no, it? No, I, I didn't say that I didn't like it. I just said I didn't know if I would like it more than the extension. Yeah. Perfect. I kind of like, it's just like sleek. And, and sleek. I like how far it comes down almost to the first step. So like, but just having that, like something to grip all, you know, all the way at the yeah. bottom of the steps is nice. These are the Lippert solid steps. And it is four steps, which our, or our avenue only had three. And we've definitely enjoyed having that extra yeah. step. Just makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. And they're hydraulically, hydraulic assisted. Oh yeah, so. sure that. Will likes to tease me. Cause sometimes when we first got this, I kept forgetting. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Come on, go inside. Oh, me and Jay. Go on. I, I have my skip plan on. Oh, on. Down. I know. Got like this. Okay, but you gotta watch him with the steps. I will. Okay. Oh, I don't like that day. Well, we did lose a little clip, so this is yeah. gonna slide out. But so you know, you can easily put it up without you know much effort. And then this is what Will always down. does to scare me. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you know, that. you know, one day you're gonna do that and it's gonna malfunction it's gonna fail. and it's just gonna freaking give you a confession. Right. And I'm not gonna feel bad for you. Okay, Alliance does full time. Um, they're, I think, all their units right now for full-time use, and it, they do use Asdell, which I really, really like that, so that if you do have a leak in your walls or something, you won't get the delamination, which really devalues and just kind of looks bad. An option that you can get on this that we didn't is full body paint, and they do have a new, really good looking full body paint option, which have Are you sure it's known? officially an option? Or I, I don't think it is actually. They're considering it. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, but truthfully, we didn't because it's so expensive. Yeah, like, we just didn't. Is expensive. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's beautiful, but we just didn't want to put the money out for right, it. Right. Exactly. Now. One upgrade that we did do though is these axles. So 
The, they come standard with 7K axles and we upgraded them to 8K axles. And the reason that we did that is because we are full timing and it's already, we're gonna be heavier. This is a big trailer. And then we already added stuff in like the washer and dryer, the generator, the solar. We really wanted to increase that cargo carrying capacity, keep it safe and just have a good foundation. So 8K axles, and in doing that, it did upgrade the tires to H-rated tires. So again, not only your axles, but your tires can also handle the additional weight. And they put um, Cooper tires when they upgrade them to the H-rated. So yeah, we have a friend who's a fellow full-timer beer. Yeah. Um, the Valdezes yep. who are on Facebook and Instagram, Driven to Bench. Yep. And he's actually an engineer. And so we, we get his advice a lot with right. stuff like this, especially like with safety and with yeah. the truck. And that was one upgrade that mm -hmm. he did recommend um, for like Will said, like for some of those safety reasons yep. that he said it was definitely worth spending the money for that. Right. We didn't do hydraulic disc brakes um, because I don't know if I'm allowed to say it or not, but we have something else in the works. It's not publicly released yet so i again I, I probably can say it but i'm gonna hang tight yeah um but there was specifics around we yeah. ordered that on purpose so we're excited for that right here we got some power on the outside oh another option that we did not do is the dual pane windows we like following the weather and we're, i should say as much as we can we avoid winter camping yes. <laughs> we're summer people we're florida during the winter people um so i just didn't feel like that was necessary yeah for us. we're not staying in extreme conditions usually. right right on the back, you can see that you got your window that's in your kitchen. It is prepped for a backup camera, which we are gonna install that hopefully soon. Ladder to get up on the roof. You guys know all the features, the PVC roof, three AC, all the max air fans, solar, all that good stuff. Um, one thing that I like that Alliance does is, is you are able to tow with this rig, tow behind it, like tow another trailer technically. Like I like that not because anybody should be doing it because i highly recommend that you don't i like how it's strong enough to do that yeah it just you means you have I mean? a strong hitch exactly there. And actually we might add a bike rack soon um for some e-bikes one one thing that truthfully just kind of sucks with any layout like this is that you do have two separate dump stations so you have one gray dump here and that's just for your kitchen sink and then all your others are up there so we ordered a split yeah like a y splitter a y split so that um we can have both hooked up at the same time but right now we're just going back and forth yeah. and, it takes a while for the kitchen sink one to does, fill actually, up so we yeah. pretty much just have it connected to the other one because that's yeah. like your bathroom exactly. and shower stuff this is your the other side of the dump so you can see you have your gray and your black for your other tank um and then that's right you have another black dump in there yeah and it all comes down to this side so the black dump in there, I assume, is for the the master toilet. I think so, yeah. And the, the black tank dump here is for the half bath toilet. Yep. So mm. two black tanks, right? Two yeah. black tanks, two gray tanks, yep. Yeah. You got your 50 amp power here, 12 gallon DSA water heater, which um, we will swap this out. I really like the um, the uh, instant tankless water heater, but I will say this actually hasn't been bad, hasn't to been be bad. honest. Yeah, I mean like- Now having the 12 gallon, we definitely yeah. get a good shower out of it. Yeah, and it we did upgrade, really we upgraded to the instant tankless and one by um, Purion in, mm -hmm. in the Avenue. Yeah, and we we really like it. So we will upgrade eventually, but it ha like Will said, it hasn't been terrible. Yeah, furnace right here. And then underneath here is the other side of that storage. And there's just tons of storage in here. You have your Renogy inverter there. Is So here's all your controls, right? So you have your power, outdoor shower, your Nautilus system. So this is your dry camping, your tank fill city water. Your whole wet bay. Your whole wet bay, city water, your black tank flush. And then that's that other black tank dump right there. Right there. Yeah. So this is all like the center for your plumbing, right? Yeah. And stuff's bound to go wrong. So I love how they put this access door in here because you can just now easily access it. There's your water pump right there. If you have an issue, it's like you just take this off and it would be so much easier to replace the, right. uh, the water pump. And if you got a leak, stuff. yeah, any electrical stuff. So it just, you know, just making that ownership experience a little bit better is really yeah. nice. You have your exhaust for your generator, the another propane and your auto leveling right there. Yep. Before we wrap up, I wanted to show this sticker a little bit. Remember we talked about the AK axles. So what that did is that brought our cargo capacity 
up to 4,290 4, pounds. Yeah. So that is a ton of cargo capacity, which is great when you're full timing. Well, that wraps up the tour of our brand new fifth wheel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And again, if you're not on our newsletter yet, I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can just sign up for that and be the first to know about stuff like which fifth wheel we bought. Like we've kind of said throughout this video, we're gonna be having a lot more content coming out about just like upgrades that we make to it and going more into like RV organization, the truck towing setup. So leave down in the comments below, let us know what, what kind of content you guys wanna see, what you're curious about, and we'll try our best to make a video on it. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.